All right, this is our Daily Bread devotional for Monday, January 13th, 2020. All right, the verse comes from Matthew 9, verses 27 through 38, New King James. Two blind men healed. When Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. When he had come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. And he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. Their eyes were opened. Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows it. But when they had departed, they spread the news about him in all that country. A mute man speaks. And as they went out, behold, they brought to him a man mute and demon-possessed. When the demon was cast out, the mute spoke, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never seen like this in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out demon, demons by the ruler of demons. The Compassion of Jesus And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were weary and scattered like sheep, having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plenty, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. In devotional commentary insight, God's sovereignty is described three times in Matthew 9, 37 through 38. First, God is the Lord of the harvest. This means he owns the field and watches over it, and the results of the harvest are given to him. He's also the one who hires and sends the workers. The workers perform the work, but they don't go of their own accord. The Lord of the harvest sends them. Finally, the field belongs to him. The field is his. He sends the workers, and the harvest goes to him. Everyone Needs Compassion is the title of today's devotional by Allison Cada. When Jeff was a new believer in Jesus and fresh out of college, he worked for a major oil company. In his role as a salesman, he traveled, and in his travels, he heard people's stories, many of them heartbreaking. He realized that what his customers needed most wasn't oil, but compassion. They needed God. This led Jeff to attend seminary, to learn about the heart of God and eventually to become a pastor. Jeff's compassion had its source in Jesus. In Matthew 9, 27 through 33, we get a glimpse of Christ's compassion in the miraculous healing of two blind men and one demon-possessed man. Throughout his earthly ministry, he went about preaching the gospel and healing through all the towns and villages. Why? When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like a sheep without a shepherd. The world today is still full of troubled and hurting people who need the Savior's gentle care, like a shepherd who leads, protects, and cares for his sheep. Jesus extends his compassion to all who come to him. No matter where we are in life or what we're experiencing, in him we find a heart overflowing with tenderness and care. When we've been a beneficiary of God's loving compassion, we can't help but want to extend it to others. When have you experienced God's tender care? And who can you reach out to in compassion? Heavenly Father, we're so grateful that you had compassion on us. We would be lost without you. Help us to extend your overflowing compassion to others. All right, and there's the links there if you want to check it out. Also put a link for a uh, uh, worship song by Laura Story, Mighty to Save. It's an old one, but it kind of goes along with this devotional. So if you want to check that out, I would highly recommend that. So leave a comment, question, a prayer request. I'd be happy to write a prayer for somebody. All right. So uh, click the like if you like. You guys have a great day. God bless.